welcome back to the channel, my friends. How did that look? I am completely invisible right now, which is why you're seeing forward. I'm out aimlessly wandering. Yep, I got the cruise control set. We're just kind of cruising along. Hey, look, there's a sport bike guy. What's up, Mr. Sport Biker? Yeah. We're all wearing like short sleeve shirts and stuff today. It is absolutely gorgeous here in the DMV. And for reference, it is daylight savings time. So what is it? November 5th. Yes, November 5th, the F-I-F-T-H, a very hard word to pronounce. Anyway, moving on. Oh, come on, you don't have to slow down for that. It's 30 through here. Oh, these people will never learn. That was on my list of roads to ride today. Did I get that right? I did. And I have my turn signal on and we're making the right east on 26. Although I did see a couple of roads I want to ride back there, but we're somewhere north of Mount Airy. Here's a map. Yep, that's where we're at right now. I'm, like I said, wandering aimlessly and just having a peaceful cruise. Yes, yes indeed. And of course we brought the Hero 9, hello. If it's working. Who knows? Who cares? This camera works. That camera works. We're good. And I'm sort of in the sun. You can see I've got my sweatshirt on, but I have my Bond AirTech shirt underneath of this. We're in a weird sort of weather where you don't know what to expect. Up here, it's rather windy. At home, there is no wind. Today is 68, 70 degrees. It's beautiful out. Very few clouds in the sky, as you can tell. And it's just a great day to be on two wheels. So I do have what I have on, but I also brought my lined winter jacket and my winter gloves just in case I'm out towards dark. Then it's the brakes, you know, you take your time and you do what you're going to do. And eventually whatever happens, happens. There, that makes absolutely no sense. But I could not let a great day on the motorcycle pass me by. Even though I got started late and I was going to go up to somewhere else that I've already been, I decided, you know what, I got a couple hours. I'm just going to make the best of it and do what I do and just kind of pick a direction. You ever do that? Leave a comment below. Do you just pick a direction or pick a road and follow it until it's time to turn around and go home? I'm curious if other people do this. I bet they do, but I do it quite frequently. But we're on 26 Liberty Road and it cuts across Maryland. Eh, maybe 30 miles south of the Pennsylvania border. Should be a nice, peaceful ride. I don't even think I'm doing the speed limit. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, goodness. Sometimes, my friends, you get lucky. I was looking to turn around, but this White Rock Road is one that I rode a couple of years ago, but my audio screwed up. So let's see if lightning can't strike twice today and screw it up. I remember this road being fun to ride. So I'm going to bring it to you now, at least part of it. And it's, you know, it's just funny. Sometimes you, you find something you've been looking for, but you didn't know you were looking for it. Just trying to keep the peace. I was literally getting ready to turn around and go back to 27 because there were a couple of roads. 27 is Ridge Road. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but either way, I'm mentioning it now. But there were a couple of roads there that I wanted to ride. I saw they were nice. So I took a mental note of them, put them in the old cashew for a future ride. Boy, it's windy up here. Ah, but that sun feels so good. I actually turned my heated grips here onto like one because my hands are getting kind of chilly. So they're radiating heat into my digits at, at the moment. Need more coffee. Ah, coffee, coffee, coffee. Gotta have the coffee, baby. The GoPro is not going to show up, but this is like a really short, steep incline, followed by a 30 mile an hour section. Okay, we'll see if it's telling the truth. It was lying. It was lying so far. Ooh, there's a corner coming up. I should find a place to pull over and take some pictures. Yeah, that's what I like doing these days. Ooh. 
good fun. Hey, before I forget, how you doing out there in YouTube land? You can see me. Yeah. I, I are visible. I, I can't get the thingy to do the thing. Anyway, how you doing? Leave a comment below with how you're doing out there. I hope you're having a great week. Oh, it has not been peaceful for me, but now I'm out on the bike, so I'm trying to keep the peace. That'd be a good title for this video, in fact. Hmm. Note to editor John, make that the title for a while. Anyway, White Rock Road, let's ride it for a little bit. Oh, a stop sign, Obrecht Road. I have to remember what I did here two years ago. I think I went straight. It's kind of a catty corner street. You can see it right over there. Checking for cross traffic. I don't see any. This looks like a bad decision, so let's do it. And now I'm in a neighborhood. Yep, bad decision. Yeah, I don't want to be in the neighborhood. I want to be cruising along the back roads. Now the question is left or right? Let's see, we're headed northeast, so... To the left would be southwest, to the right would be southeast, I don't know. Let's make a right. What the heck? What do we have to lose? Look at that, isn't that pretty over there? That is very pretty. All right, let's go. Did I get it right? We're headed east. East bound and down, loaded up and riding. We'll get home eventually. Yep, ran out of syllables for that one, sorry. Skip. Ah, so I got turned around. Now, we're just gonna go ride back down 27 again. It was a peaceful ride up. I could have taken Georgia Avenue, which has been on the channel many times before, but that is less of a peaceful ride. This is more peaceful, and that's what I need today. So that's what I'm doing. Look, I'm well lit now, except the highlights are blown out because that's what GoPros do. Now, since we're on 27, if I can find the two or three side roads that I wanted to ride, we're gonna turn down those and uh, turn down for wood and we're gonna ride them because I saw one and I looked and I'll try to show you if I find it, but I saw one road that just looked really cool headed down like a mountain or something. Braddock Road, this is one of them. Yep, we're gonna go down Braddock Road a little bit. I know something Ellis or Mellis or Pellis ending in, end in L-L-I-S. Nobody coming over the hill. Good job, John. Turn, 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 turn. There we go, Braddock Road. Nice. Bike's running good today. Look at the fall foliage we have found. And I have never been on this road before. Check it out, check it out. I thought this road was gonna be straight the whole way. But a mile later, here we go. A couple of corners. Heck yeah. Just a couple, hopefully. I wanna keep the peace, dang it. <laughs> and now we're coming up to the end of Braddock Road. I just wanna turn around right here. I figure out how I'm gonna do this not very smart. I should have just like gone up to the main intersection and turned around there. But I'm not that bright. Well, at least I made it easy-ish to turn myself around. Don't ride in the gravel, go. All right, now let's go back to 27 real quick. Boop. And here we are, just like that. Uh, you know what? Oh, look at that, pavement. It's like it was meant for me. I'm gonna swap batteries here, ladies and gentlemen. All one of you lady and Three gentlemen. Oh. Be right back. Well, everything seems to be working after the battery swap. Had a nice guy stop uh, on his Red Ultra Classic. Seemed to be like a 2012, 2013 model. Offer me assistance. He was funny though. He says, 
you good? And I said, yeah, I'm good. I'm just swapping batteries on the GoPros and, you know, and uh, he goes, good. I, I couldn't offer you anything more than moral support, but I was going to be here for you. And I was like, dude, that's hilarious. Thank you so much. And then he was like, hey, let's go get a beer. And I was like, oh, dude, I got to go get dinner because now I have to go get dinner. It, it's getting late enough in the day. What are we? 3.30 ish. Supposed to be home at four and I'm an hour from home. So what's not going to happen? Sorry, hon. Can I get a break in the traffic? Good gracious. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. We up the hill, up the hill. So I guess we're going to look for the next road. <laughs> I'm already late. Who cares now? Let's roll. So many bikers out today. Good gracious. Gillis Falls Drive. This is it. This is it. This is it. We need a turn signal. I'm going to show you something that I think looks pretty cool. And hopefully you think it looks cool too, just as soon as I get a turn light. There we go. Look at this. Whee! So we go down this hill and then we're going to go ride these curves. It's going to be awesome. Hello. How are you? Yep. Got a, got a head nod. Yeah, I got a real, real serious head nod. Got a real serious Maxima problem too. Guys behind me, little close for comfort, bub. But look at this road. We've got the trees lining. Yes, lining the sides of it. Half alive on one side, dead on the other. Must be something in the water. We're gonna come into some fields. Reminder, I've never been on this road. A reminder to you and me. I've never been on this road before, so this is all new to all of us, right? Unless you live in this area, in which case, comment below. Uh, yeah, let me know you're in the area. But yeah, this is cool. Oh, I love it. I have no idea where this road comes out, or if it comes out. Hopefully it doesn't turn into gravel. I don't like gravel. Gillis Falls Road. I gotta remember this one. This is nice. Nice area through here. I bet you about, it. look at that, cows. Oh yeah, did we get them? Did we get the cows on camera? I hope so. Maxima's gone. Yes. I bet like three weeks ago though, this looked phenomenal. I will have to remember this for next year's fall foliage rides. Whoa. Hey, look at that. We got orange and brown and red and green. So much color to be seen. But look at this. Do -do 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 -do. Technical terms. It's a do 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 do. Uh, quadratic. Yeah, there's an equation on that road. I don't know it. <laughs> Quite the elevation changes, my friends. This is great. Wow, look how the sun lights up this orange leaf tree. Oh, that is amazing to me. Very cool. Wow, what a hidden gem, what a find. Look at the squiggly lines. Somebody had fun with positive traction. And again with positive traction. Not a very long road, but that was a good one. Now I gotta head south. It is time to go home, my friends. I think I have to go to the right, oh my gosh. Wow. There is nobody behind me. Oh, hold on. I see another opportunity for your old buddy John to get some pictures. What's up, buddy? What are you riding there? Uh, Street Glide Special 2019. Oh, this thing looks heavy. Uh, 900 pounds. Wow. Yeah, Ooh. what is that? 380? <laughs> Probably 400, that's it. There you go. Do you feel it at the speed? Or, I mean, that must be hard to move. No. Wow. You push right on the handlebar and then it stands up. And once it's upright, you're in that 15 degree window off center, you're good. After that, yeah, it gets heavy. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I ride all over the place. The cup holder and everything on there, huh? Oh yeah. Got my cigar going, got the <laughs> cup holder, got three GoPros on there. Wow. Oh, all right, I won't hold you up in the middle of the street. Here. No, no, it's fine. I, I'm used to stopping in the middle of the street. Yeah. Oh yeah, I always stop. Hey, you too. Take care. They say you meet the nicest people on a Honda. That's BS. You meet them on a Harley. 
Nice looking Yamaha there. He was like, I won't hold you up. <laughs> I'm used to stopping in the middle of the street. Gotta get some pictures, man. Oh, look at that. Don't nobody run me over. I'm over here taking pictures. Oh, look at the blue paint. Look how she shines. Yeah, let's get one there with that in the background. Binky, binky, boo. Binky, binky, boo. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. What a view out there. I'm sure these people are all pissed off I'm blocking the road. Oh well. Look at that view out there. That is just something else. But now is as good a time as any to end the video. I've been recording quite a bit. Anyway, remember the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Today, this was a little bit of peace. I needed this peace. Hope you got some peace from watching it. I picked peaceful music. Didn't, didn't do the speed up thing too much, hopefully. And oh, that's nice. Squirrel. See you all in the next video. Bye.